Hi, I'm artist Lillian Gray and today I am going to show you how to make the cutest little armadillo out of air dry clay. I am using Dala's air dry clay. I simply love working with this. You can shop it down below, just click on the link in the description and there's also a beautiful clay tool set that's quite affordable and easy to work with. Now, first up, do you guys know what is the difference between an armadillo and a pangolin? A pangolin has scales that almost looks fishy and their tail is quite thick and massive, where an armadillo has just got a leathery skin, so that's quite a big difference. Armadillos are found in South America mainly, and there's one species that lives in the north of uh, the United States, but they mainly live in South America. They're endangered species because they're messing up their habitat, and they're just so cute that I really wanted to honor them today. I've cut open my clay with a scissor, just removing the plastic. I've got my clay tension wire that I'm now going to use to just split this clay into four, Wedge my clay. I am kneeing it almost like it's bread dough. Okay, you want to avoid bringing too much air into your clay and trapping some air bubbles because that will make your clay burst and crack, and that's really not what we want. Air is the enemy of clay. Clay is very much like drawing. We use five basic shapes to construct a drawing when we draw. And the same happens when we do clay. So I'm first just going to shape my basic shapes. I'm going to have a body for my armadillo. I'm going to have four little legs. Can I have a head, two little ears and tail? The reason I'm also making an armadillo today is because I watched Rhea and the Last Dragon and I just love Tok Tok. He's the cutest thing ever. He's a third armadillo, a third pug, and a third bug. So that made me read up a little bit more about armadillos. <laughs> Let's start um, by shaping our body. This is quite a sturdy, strong oval, almost like a little loaf of bread. Think of your proportions when you're making your basic shapes. You can always take away adding clay is a bit harder. It's made out of solid clay, there's no armature inside because we're making quite a tiny little creature today. They've got like a little snout, almost like a piggy. So I'm kind of just starting to shape this for the snout. Now I'm going to join. Remember when we join clay, we always have to scrape and we always have to use slip. Slip is clay's glue. So it is clay with a lot of water and that is what we use as our glue to join clay. It helps us to get rid of the air bubbles that form when we join two pieces of clay. I've got my little scraper here, which is a clay pen. You can also use a toothpick if you don't have one of these. I'm first going to join the head. Now what's important with the armadillo is that the head kind of molds out of the body. So it's more to the upper part. It's in a line with the back. It's not down here. So just be careful about where you position this. I'm just planning. So I know I need to scrape here. And I always scrape both sides of the clay that I'm joining. So in Spanish, armadillo means little armored one. He's basically built like a little tank, quite a little sturdy body. And now I'm gonna start joining my tail. So I'm gonna scrape on the one side, scrape on the other side. It's important to note with the armadillo, the tail flows out the spine that's being extended. Don't make your tail too thin, it will break off. We do not want that. So now I'm going to put him on my potter's wheel. You don't have to have a wheel. If you don't have a wheel, you can always just swivel your cloth around. But I'm going to put him on my wheel and then um, start working on his little ears and the detail. So they've got the cutest little ears. What I'm doing is I took my ball and I'm just going to squish it into a circle. And then I'm going to start squeezing it into a long, tall kind of raindrop oval shape. If your clay gets a little bit dry, you can just wet your finger in some water. 
and just soften it up a bit. Don't make it too wet. I'm just kind of planning on where I'm going to place them. They're right at the top. They don't slant to the side like a piggy. Um, it's more like bunny ears. So I'm going to be placing them there. And when I'm going to join, remember to scrape and add your slip. I'm going to be taking the back of my uh, clay pen and I'm just going to be shaping them a bit more round. All right, so I've decided to call her Amy, Amy the Armadillo. So I'm just going to tilt Amy up a little bit and start giving her the personality that I'm kind of imagining. So I'm adding little nostrils. I'm also just going to add a cute little smile. Then I'm going to use the back to see where I'm going to put my eyes. My eyes are more to the side, not really to the front of her head, but more to the side. And this is where we really start shaping the personality of our little sculpture. Because I like imagining what my little creatures like to do. Do they like tea? Do they like coffee? Do they like smoothies? Where do they hang out with? Where do they meet their other friends? Just going to take a little bit of water and smooth out some certain sections. So long. And I want to make her a beautiful, bally, cartoony eyes. I'm going to make sure they're the right size. And I'm going to scrape the inside of the ball socket that I've created and I'm going to add a slip. Okay, what I'm going to start doing next is working on our little legs and feet. So I'm using my clay tool and that's kind of where I want her paw to be. So I'm just going to bend this up slightly and then flatten that. It looks like a little booty for now, and I'm going to do that times four. Okay, I've got my four little booties. With my pen tool, I'm going to just add her little toesy woesy. So I'm going to give her three little toes. I'm going to be working on the armadillo's body now. They also have these little stripes that go on the back of their body to show where the, the skin folds when they roll into a little ball. on to do the pattern so what I've got here is an empty twisty crayon and you've got the front and the back which makes different kinds of circles you can use any broken pen I am changing the patterns on the fold of the body, so I'm going to be using a different pottery tool. If you do not own this pottery tool, you can also use the back of a teaspoon handle, which creates an interesting mark as well. Texture is one of the seven elements of art, so make sure you vary your texture on your little sculpture to keep it visually interesting and engaging. Scale is one of the design principles that we use in art. So make sure you vary the size of your pattern marks in relationship to each other. Make some bigger, others smaller. We now need to flip Amy around and attach the little legs. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare my legs by scraping them and adding slip. At the bottom of Amy, scrape the area where you would like to join the little legs. Add slip and secure the legs firmly. Make sure they are secure by using one of your clay tools or your finger. 
add a bit of paper towel to support her legs from bending while she is drying. We have now reached the final but most important step of making a sculpture, finishing it off well. Take your time, change your little stance, tweak the little personality, make sure everything is well rounded and your surfaces are smooth. The more time you spend now, the less time you have to spend preparing her before you have to paint her. Once you are 100% done, store your little sculpture with a support structure, covering it in plastic and let it dry slowly. You would like your air dry clay to ideally dry over the course of a week. This prevents cracking. And now you know how to create a beautiful, cute little armadillo out of air dry clay. I hope all of you enjoyed this video quite a lot. If you did, give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. All those things really help our channel to grow and that enables us to create more awesome content for all of you. I'm artist Lillian Gray. Stay tuned for the next video so you can see how I finish off Amy the Armadillo.